It's kind of with Finn. Um, he doesn't like dogs coming up to him. Yep. Um, and he pulls a lot. Okay. Um, and as soon as you get, as soon as he gets a scent, you lost him. Yeah. Hound. No yeah. chance of getting back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like last night, he was. We stayed all sent in in a yeah. place last night and there was the uh, squirrels and we went for a walk yeah oh my god his idea of heaven your idea of hell yeah yeah, yeah. i think yeah. she was being dragged on the long line i was holding oh, her behind yeah. oh, like holding no. her down it was yeah i think if there was cctv i think we'd be on you'd be oh for sure. no oh bless your heart okay but the reactivity is yeah like we can't go out for a walk now i've got to carry pet character extra slip leads yeah yeah, even carry a pop-up umbrella just to try and stop dogs getting to us so you're going out well equipped aren't you oh yeah yeah Yeah. everything but the kitchen sink yeah definitely (laughs) oh finn definitely and how old is finn uh three and has this behavior got any worse or do you feel like it's pretty much been the same or is it just getting progressively worse um it's been getting worse would you say um he six months i would say yeah he was he was attacked by a labrador okay so now any labrador that he sees regardless of if it's a black one a chocolate one or a golden one he will start growling first and collies he's not a fan of starers yeah yeah and they do that thing around you, yeah you? the awful yep. thing the herd in the circling yep. yeah yeah and he can be a bit nippy as well yeah yeah okay. he yeah, had a collie it was only a pup but it just lunged straight for his face it was playing but he didn't like it no of course not so he Italian pinned the dog to the floor yeah. he didn't bite it which no i mean given how he did actually lunge at his face well yeah i was think quite surprised that, that dog and the it. owner of that dog were quite yep. lucky to be honest yeah Okay, what we'll do first of, first of all, we'll just have a little wander in here, let him stretch his legs a little bit, just let him have a little sniff, see if he wants to go for a wee, and then we'll um, bring one of the dogs out and see how he is. <laughs> He's a tall boy. Yes, very leggy. And you'd originally booked a Zoom call, hadn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And then for tomorrow, actually, yeah, I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then things got a little bit worse. And we were like, yeah. "Oh no, no we just need to do the one to one." I think. Bless you. And is this the kind of usual walking setup? Harness. Yeah, he's okay. on a harness, mm-hmm. um, but he is normally on a long line. Mm-hmm. So we've got two lengths. We've got a shorter one and a longer one, um, but we tend to keep him on the shorter one now, okay. so it's easier to get him back. Yeah. Oh, He'll be on his bugger. his little line then when okay. we just go on a street walk. Okay. And is there any kind of particular distance, or is it as the dogs approach him that's what he struggles with most? Okay. And not so much when they're on lead either, when they're off lead, but yeah. which is the the complicated bit. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, so have a little wander around. I'm going to go and grab my dog Frank. I'm just going to see how Finn does, you know, see what reaction, if any, we get from Finn, and then we'll move on from there. All right. Okay. Obviously, the most important thing we need to address is the lead walking. We need to fix that. That's yeah. absolutely key if we can fix the lead walking the reactivity will improve as well because what he will then be able to do in moments where he feels uncomfortable unsure excited yeah. he'll fall back onto that job which is just to be by your side yeah just staying here for me i'm gonna go grab frank and i'll be back with you okay. in a second all Perfect. Right? you know intrigued by Frank. Yeah. I think he's in playful mode. <laughs> yeah, he's in playful mode. Yeah. I think everyone's intrigued by Frank, so in fairness, Frank is a bit peculiar. Frank's beautiful. <laughs> he is handsome. Oh, thank you. you know. He's wearing his ear inside out. Oh, he's always got it inside out. I'm going to pop Frank away, I'll be back, we'll fix the lead walking and we're going to go from there, alright? Okay. Good boy. 
<laughs> she is. Well, she's hot. Okay, so we need to fix the lead walking for a number of reasons. Yeah. First issue is when a dog enters the picture, at the minute, because of the harness setup, he's already way too We're far in front, in front. Of, yeah. Fred? <laughs> way too in front of Fred. <laughs> he's way too ahead, is what yeah. I was trying to say. Nothing to do with Fred. Fred's fine. <laughs> when he's there, he's in a really vulnerable position because if, if I'm a dog, I'm Fred. <laughs> Fred the dog, if I move towards him, he's out there on his own. He has to make the decisions on his own. And if he feels unsure about that dog, he's going to take control of that in the only way he knows how, which is the dog way. Overreact, make it move, yeah. make it go away. He's unlikely going to like this dog and this dog's energy. So let's help him out a little bit here. Steer him away. That's it and move off. Good, nice. Good boy. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a couple of bits out of my car. We're going to condition him to a different tool because we need to stop yep. that from happening. Yeah. We need to yeah. teach him where we want him to be when the lead's yep. attached and that when he feels pressure, it's to follow you rather than pushing into it like that. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a slip collar and a different lead and I'll show you how they work. Okay. Right, so, have you ever used a slip lead or a slip collar at all? No, no. Did, we did start conditioning him to a slip lead. Yeah, um, but that guy. Um, I didn't stick with it to no, be honest because I, I think the lead was a bit short so yeah. it, like, as soon as he moved, it was pulling. Right, okay. So I think I got the wrong one. Really yeah, it was just to stop other dogs coming towards us and yeah, if need yeah. to yeah. get them away. But I thought, oh, I'll try and condition him to it. But yeah. I didn't really stick with it. But he, no. he That's fine. was fine with it, to yeah. be honest. He didn't okay. like freak out or anything. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. Come here, buddy. Let's go. So all I'm going to do is a bit of conditioning with him. Teach him how to turn that pressure off. She says... <laughs> With a slip lead then, can he get out of it? No. Because he can slip collars quite easy. So he is double clipped at the minute, not for any, not because I think he's going to escape it, but just because yeah. if he were to panic, not that I'm expecting him to panic, but I can go back to a sensation that he's a little bit familiar with. Finn, want to be a chicken, buddy? Oh yeah. Finn? Oh, he's so gentle. Yeah. Oh. That is very useful. Bless his heart. So, with a slip lead or a slip collar, if he were to start backing up, backing away, if I were to give in to that pressure, then yeah, that would loosen off and it could come over his head. But if he starts to back up, as long as you pull up, it's going to keep applying pressure, applying, applying pressure, he can't back up okay. out of it. But if you feel, if you're worried about him slipping it, you can always have him double clip like he is at the minute. It's just a safety backup, you don't need to. Yeah. Let's go, buddy. So, a little bit of condition, I'm going to teach him how to follow that pressure and turn it off. Let's go. You want the chicken? I know, sorry. Are you sure? Yeah. Go on then, have a little wander with him. Look perfect, nice. That's it, sharp turn, just the opposite way, nice. I'm the chicken lady now, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Good. Sit, sharp turn, just take him with you. Good, nice. Oh, he's got no awareness of his size, has he? No spatial awareness, nothing. How long have you had him for? Since pup, or? Yeah. yeah. He was a rescue, but we rescued him when he was a Right. That's it. A little bit of pressure, good boy. As soon as he starts to step forward, we turn that pressure off. A little bit of pressure, start walking forward. Keep going. Good. Now pressure goes off. That's it. And what he's learning is that as soon as that pressure goes back off, or as soon as he steps forward, that pressure goes back off. Part of this is because he's quite stubborn, and he's used to being able to fight that pressure and pull through it. Yeah. We're having to undo that a little bit. We're having to teach him actually that pressure means come back to me rather than move forward. Do you know when he puts his head down to sniff? Do I leave yep. that? So we want a happy balance. We want to do a bit of loose lead walking. So with loose lead walking, I'm not trying to state the obvious but we want a loose lead so that he can lower his nose and sniff as long as he's matching you and your pace and turning with you we can't allow him to dictate actually i want to go over here or i want to stop here because yeah. that's a little decision he's making and it adds up to the bigger ones that he makes like reacting to a dog for example we can do a bit of micromanagement prevent those little decisions the bigger decisions become less of a problem Good. 
nice confident. Let's go. Let's go. <coughs> a little bit dramatic. Just a little bit. Drama <laughs> queen, aren't you, buddy? What we can do, the clip that's attached to his collar, if you want to attach that to the front clip of his harness, the flat collar, sorry, and bring him forward a little bit through the harness. <laughs> Ironically, he's done the thing we wanted him to do, which is move forward. Yeah. There you go. So now we've got the ability to steer, steer, steer from the head and the body, not just from the head. And when he has moments where he's a little bit stubborn, we can take away that pressure from the head a little bit and just get him moving forward through the chest. Let's go. So try not to get the chicken ready because then we're yep. falling into that trap of bribery. When he does Let's move, go. then we can give our marker, give him a bit of chicken. Yes. That's it, nice. Good boy. Good boy. And what I would like you to do now, let him have a little break so he can have the length of the lead, let him have a little sniff. The only rule during this time is that he's not allowed to pull. So if he starts to pull, you stop, wait for him to turn that tension off, and then you carry on again. So this is his time. He can be, do what he wants to do, just can't on, pull. Man. Because he, his biggest reinforcement, I suspect, is going to be the environment. Because he's got that hound in him, he wants to sniff, he wants to explore. We can use that to our advantage. You know, we're never going to be more exciting than the environment. Never. Never going to be. But we don't have to be. We can use it to our advantage, though. When he does a bit of work, he's done a bit of walking by our side, he can sniff. He can be a dog. But like every good relationship, there Is needs it? to be a little bit of give and take. Not through that. That was great. Great use of the food. Sit. Sit. Nice. Good. Your positioning perfect as well. But can you see the difference from how when fr fr? What's with your words? Sit. Early? I don't know. <laughs> I got cold earlier. I think that's it. Yeah. Sit. The difference between when Frank first came out. Finn was way out ahead. He was out there all on his own. He's he's out there bubbling over. Doesn't know what to do with himself. Here, okay, Sit. he's not very good at sitting. That's not a problem. We just put him straight back into it every single time. Good. I think the problem, the issue with the sit is that there's been some bribery along the way. You've got the food back out before just to get him back into that sit. So he's learned that breaking position will bring that food back out. Sit. Nice. Good. Nice. And this is where, this is the boring stuff, you know, basic, basic obedience. Good. Sit means sit, down means down until release no. or instructed sit. otherwise. Sit. Now, keep him in that sit for five seconds before you offer a bit of chicken this time. Now? Good. Perfect. Because what we don't want, again, we don't want to get into the habit of he breaks his sit, then we give a bit of chicken. Sit. Because again, he's still learning. I break position, I get chicken. We want him to learn that we do, you do this behaviour and that will bring you some chicken. That will bring you something. Not necessarily chicken. You can, you can sniff. That could be his reward as well. Good. Good. Guys. 78% of you are still not subscribed to our channel. So please help us grow by liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification so you never miss a video.